What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roblox Talk. It's time for more draft breakdowns. Today will be Aziz Adjulari, edge rusher out of Georgia, 6'3", 240, had eight and a half sacks his last season there. I mean, we're going to break him down. He's a very talented edge rusher. And plus, I'll let you get first dibs. What do you like out of Aziz? Yeah, I really like him. I think he's a guy at the next level that, you know, it could be a, a designated pass rusher specialist, a guy that could you know, the first couple of years he, he's used as that, you know, guy you bring in on third down and he can attack the quarterback as he continues to grow and develop his game um, from a complete standpoint. But really like this part where he uses his hands very well. And then the secondary move, and that's what we've been talking about with the other guys that we've broken down. This is what he does well. I mean, the hands and then the ability to rip and dip towards the quarterback. You see how he changes his angle there. Very nice. And that's what you want to see from, you know, your edge rusher. And he can do this very well. So he got a lot of pressures when he was at Georgia. I felt like he grew as a player from year to year. And now he has the ability to take it to the next level, at, you know, in the NFL game. Yeah, let's break it down a little bit more. This is stuff as we as Buck Veneers fans saw Shaq Barrett do a lot. I mean, this, he's almost hopping into that outside arm. He's just attacking that tackle's outside arm. He's winning with his speed making it half the offensive lineman he's attacking, not just the whole chest plate. Beat him to that one spot, knock that arm down, like you said, dip, rip, contort his body to keep doing that that corner turn and then just get after that outside arm. And look at this, this jump swat. That's nice, That's nice. real nice. Athletic move, love it. And you're going to see a lot of this, him just winning yeah. the edge, turning the corner. What do, you, what do you see here? Yeah, very nice. I mean, here again, it's what we call, you know, the term is running the arc and, Ojulari does that very well here as you know he just uses his hands well you know swats it down does a nice little tug and pull action as he's gonna just you know get the the offensive lineman false stepping there and then easy path to the quarterback does a great job of bringing him down so this is something that Aziz did very well you know from going from his freshman to sophomore season and really took that nice leap and really has become a complete player and as you can see here he's extending him up getting him off base, pulling him back down, loses balance, and then it's just him closing in on the quarterback, getting rid of the ball there, getting a sack. Really nice play. I mean, for outside edge rusher, he's probably the best one I've seen naturally so far of all the breakdowns we've done. And just the same move you saw in the first play, attacking that outside edge, pushing that arm down, dipping inside arm, ripping up, getting after the quarterback. Really nice. Break it down a little bit more. Yeah, I like how he, you know, he just, he doesn't, um, use a lot of steps, you know, it's very limited. And that's what you see from great pass rushers. Um, they don't take a lot of false steps. He's very direct and hits his spot where he needs to be. And it's a direct path to the quarterback, as you see here, able to, you know, not only get the quarterback, but cause, you know, trying to cause that fumble there as he's trying to make a big play. And obviously it ends up being a safety. And same exact move, same exact move. I mean, he has one go-to move. Let's be honest about that. I mean, usually guys are just winning off athletic ability, but he's literally attacking that arm. He's hopping right into it, forcing it down. Once he has that edge, dip, get that arm up and in, get after the quarterback. Again, going for that ball, like you're saying, it's not just settling for a sack. He wants that turnover. He wants that fumble. Really like his edge rush ability. I mean, we're going to go into his inside moves later, but this outside edge rusher, he got that. Right, yeah, no doubt. I mean, you can just see that, you know, he he understands what he's good at and he's taken advantage of it. Um, and that's what you want from a pass rusher. And especially in, in today's NFL where pass rushing is so important for him to have this skill set is going to really benefit him. And he's going to be able to do things like this at the next level, you know, whether it's playing limited snaps or what have you. Um, here again, he's coming from the inside this time. Again, doesn't have much of an inside moves like, like we talked about, um, like Mark said. Uh, but he can still find ways to, to win inside. Uh, he shows good strength here as he's able to, you know, kind of fend off the left tackle with his body and just continue to fight forward, runs into the sack. So here again, just, you know, kind of shedding the blocker, kind of easy pathway there. And then, you know, crushes the quarterback. So his, his game is all about speed. I mean, that's what he knows and, and you can't blame him. That's, you know, that's how he's going to win at the next level. I mean, the closing speed, like you just said it there, his game's about speed. I mean, this isn't much of an inside move. It's just more, okay, the, the tackle didn't really block me. But him from here to the quarterback, just check it out in real speed. 
Like that's closing in. I mean, that, Mac Jones thinks he has time. No, nope, no, nope, never mind. No, he don't. Flutters it out. What a hit. I mean, I, look at him on the ground after the play. He's just <laughs> broken. But, I mean, the dude has length, speed, everything you want in an edge rusher. You can teach him an inside move. The stuff around getting to the edge, that's what's hard. You can't teach speed and length, and he has those traits. I mean, get a coach, a really good coach, to teach him an inside move, and look out. And just check it out again. They're using those long arms to his advantage. Break it down over here. Right, yeah. You look at, um, he's going up against Alex uh, Weatherwood, who's another potential first-round pick. And, you know, Weatherwood's arms are pretty damn long. And you can see um, Aziz Ojulari's arms are quite almost similar. I mean, he's got long arms himself. So his ability to use those and in, in, in that type of fashion, you know, knock it down and then kind of do that tug move that he likes to do, just separation you know, forcing the incompletion. So, yeah, I really like him as a pass rusher. Um, you know, again, here, getting around the tight end, you know, he has the mismatch, using the long arm uh, move here against 87, as we're going to see just right there, you know, kind of tugging him, you know, and then he's finding his way to get position as he bends that corner. Look at the legs. So you have that flexion of bend. That's something you can't teach, like, you know, Mark was saying. You know, we can find ways to, to teach you how to, you know, win inside and how to counter. And if he does that, I mean, he'll be unstoppable for sure. Um, that will be the key for him to being, you know, just a good player to maybe a great player. Uh, that that comes at the next level. And look at the attention he's getting. They put a tight end over there and Leatherwood, what's he looking at? Still at him, even though he's covered. Look at him turning that arc. Like, how are you that low, still gaining speed, still picking up speed? I mean, that's... And the fact that you're guarding that much attention from the left tackle and tight end, I mean, I really like him, really like him as a prospect. So much more is ahead of him. And now check him out in the running game. I mean, he is, he's good enough in the running game. You can't count on him to be like this big 6'5", 300-pound run stuffer, but he does enough. He is a max effort type of guy. Break it down a little bit more. Right, like you said, I mean, he he can be good enough in the run game. I don't think NFL teams are really going to count on him to to be that run stopper, like you said. You know, they're probably going to move him around, whether it be playing linebacker or, you know, just really being that stand-up edge guy um, that gets after the quarterback. As you see here, bottom of your screen, you know, just taking on blockers there, that's really nice. Um, again, that's a big boy in 65 coming at you, so – you know, he, he, he understands technique. As you see, he gets low here, you know, gets the shoulder, stands them up, and then able to get off of him and, and make the tackle. So very impressive um, what he can do, you know, given his size and length. Yeah, using that leverage, like you're saying, he's 6'3", 240. They list him at this guy coming at him way bigger, way bigger, shrugs that off, and still gets in there to make a tackle. I mean, max effort using what he has. Again, he has a lot of good traits. This is probably a guy that won't be there when the Bucks pick at 32. If he is, I'll be surprised if the Bucks let him get by him. I mean, just look at this stuff. Check out this guard, pulling guard coming over here. Aziz reads it. He's like, okay, I'm going to have to get low because this guy's going to run me over. If I don't, boom. Like, doesn't move at all. Like, that is awesome. Look how low he is. Love that. Still long enough, again, using those long arms, getting on the tackle, and then makes the tackle. Love it. Break it down more. Yeah, very special. I, I The big thing about Aziz, it just seems like he's a very smart player. Like he understands what his limitations are and what his strengths are. So he plays that very well. Um, he doesn't do things that he's not good at. And I, I really respect that from his game. Um, as you see here again, you know, playing the outside, understanding the play, hits that hole, pretty much makes the running back go the opposite way because it's stopped right there. So very good job of just understanding his assignment and, and making the team around him better for it. And I really appreciate that. Yeah, he's just shutting down one side of the field. That's what, what more can you ask from a guy, right? Well, we keep mm -hmm. going in. So now how is he when he can't get there? Use those long arms, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, here again, he does a nice move, sets up. It looks like, you know, again, trying to get to that outside corner arm, uses a nice long arm jab there. And then just reads the quarterback, gets his hands up, you know, makes a makes a nice play. So just very aware at all times. I really like that. It seems like he's a very heady player. And, you know, I think he's got a good, good making of being a very good player at the next level if he keeps, you know, this kind of progress going forward. Yeah, long arm. Obviously, you got that. 
didn't win that outside edge. So what are we going to do? We're not going to just give up on the play. You're going to sit, keep your eyes on the quarterback, try and get in the play. What do you know he does? Now we're going to look at him dropping back in coverage because now all outside linebackers in a 3-4 scheme, that's pretty much what they're doing. They're, they're getting asked to cover in space. And guess what? They can do that well as, as well, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I like, you know, it's just natural for him. Uh, again, he doesn't, he just doesn't try to do more than he, he's supposed to. Uh, he does his job. He gets back into his spot. And then he sees that he can come up on the quarterback since quarterback's trying to scramble, gets his hands up, you know, at the right time, you know, and makes this play be, you know, become an incompletion. So got to like it here again, dropping back. He's on the tight end. He sees that, you know, the tight end's blocking. So he's going to just let him go, drop back and just casually into his spot. He knows where he's supposed to be guard that boundary, um, you know, and then plus the quarterback's running away from the pocket. So again, not trying to do too much, you know, and just playing Simon sound football. That's what you have to do. And look at his eyes, watch his eyes the whole time. He's looking at the quarterback. What's the quarterback doing? Okay. If the tight end's going out, I'm going to give him off to the middle of the defense. Cause that's not my assignment. And then look at his eyes again, wondering, Oh, is there anyone else that could, I can look at that could come over here to, catch the ball for the quarterback no there isn't so i'm just going to cover that sideline like you just said assignment sound football what more can you ask from a football player now more in the running game again we met we said you can't depend on him to do it but he's going to give max effort sometimes he's just not going to be there because he's a smaller guy and he can get pushed out of the play right right you're, you're absolutely right again he is he's going to do what he can um and again he's going to be in the right spot it just at times he he's just not going to win as you see here you know, gets pushed out of the play. So stuff like this, you're going to see, but again, it's not going to deer, you know, um, you know, determine his outcome as a player because he's so good at what he does best. And that's rushing the quarterback. And and that's most likely what teams are going to use him as, you know, in the first couple of years, as he continues to build his body here again, just kind of gets, you know, just gets pushed out of play there, you know, and it, it's going to happen when he can't win with leverage, this stuff's going to happen. And, uh, you know, that's something you can, you can live with, um, pretty much because what he's good at is making big plays on the quarterback. And that's what you pay these guys to do. It's, yeah. you know, get after the passer. Right. So that is going to be his bread and money. I was just about to say that these guys get paid to get after the quarterback as a quarterback's the highest paid. So if he can't stop the run, there's other big fat, ugly guys that can do it just as much. They can help him out with that category. So I mean, if this is his only knock and it's an inside move he has to learn, well, I can teach him that. I can't teach him speed and length. Really like Aziz Adjulari as a prospect. But guys, if you like the content, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment. We love your opinions. With that said, until the next one.